My inspiration for this experiment was the Nautilus shell with its patterns and scroll work. And so I thought um, experimenting with thicker pouring mediums would help achieve that pattern. I have Easy Care High Gloss and it's a neutral base. It's untinted. I bought it a few years ago when I was experimenting with the bloom technique and I still have two cans that I need to use. And I mixed that with a little bit of varathane polyurethane. And this is a gloss water-based polyurethane. So that will be the pouring medium for my first experiment. And for the second one I'm using Triart liquid glass. I had a small bottle last year that I used and it was very thick. So I thought that the this medium would be thick, but it's very thin as you can see. So it must have been my old bottle must have been expo exposed to the air. Anyway, so this is thin and this of course the intended paint base is very thick. So I had to add more paint to get a thicker consistency. But I'll show you the experiments and then you can see the results at the end. My colors consist of white, that's Artist Loft White. I have copper, gold, rose gold, and TLP bloodstone. And you can see that the consistency is very thick. For the first one, I'm using a paint base consisting of Valspar 2000 eggshell, and it's a beigey color, as you can see.
dry results for my first experiment using Easy Care High Gloss Neutral Base and uh, Verithane Polyurethane Water Based. You can see the clearly defined lines. I love this pattern. So I did achieve an abstract Nautilus shell pattern. And these colors are a departure from my usual blues and purples and greens. And these are the dry results for the Triart liquid glass. It was a combination of liquid glass and um, Floetrol. Now this one, um, I like the clearly defined lines. I think I left too much paint on the surface because it started to crack. There's some weird things going on. It was either because of too much paint left on the surface when drying or else there was a reaction between the liquid glass or something else and the base coat that I put down. I left a bit of the corner here, and that was the Bellspar 2000 eggshell. It was in beige, a beigey color that I had for quite a while. So it was either those two that caused that sort of a fluctuation, cracking in that area. And then I really like this one, the soft softness of it using the cloud mix with the liquid glass. So there are clearly defined lines. There are puffy clouds. More puffy clouds. More defined lines. So it's a combination of the two and some pearly cells as well. So I really like this one and the first one, I like both of them. I like the, the softness of this one with the lines, and I also like the weirdness of this one. So that's my experiment for today. Let me know what you think in the section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below.